fans na kukaribisha your excellency asante sana asante sana mheshimiwa kapondi mount elgon kwa sasa nataka kumuita mbunge wa kimilili anasema yeye pia anaitwa bishop angekuwa hata amekaa huku mbele lakini sijui imekuaje amekaa huku nyuma <laughs> asante Asante sana Your Excellency President of the Republic of Kenya and your deputy our speaker of the National Assembly our ministers and our clergy na wananchi wetu wa Bungoma Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nisalimie hewani kule nyuma hewani 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 Jambo la kwanza rais na kanisa Nataka kuwaomba msamaha kidogo kwa niaba ya hawa wajumbe wote. Hii ni hafla ya kitaifa. Nimeona ndugu yangu Salasia ameamka kapiga kelele hapa ningependa mumsamehe kwa sababu yeye ni rafiki ya Wajakoya na unajua tu ile vitu wanakulanga sasa mumsamehe. Msikue na matatizo na yeye. Kwa function kama hii ya rais ukiwa mheshimiwa unakaa unatulia you use your brains you don't use your voice. Jambo ya pili mheshimiwa rais I want to be very clear that Kenya as a country we are privileged to have a president and his deputy who understands the problem that each and every corner of this country go through Our president understands the states of affairs of our roads in Bungoma He engaged our people before he was elected through our economic forum he signed an economic charter with the people of bungoma i am confident your excellency that because you are going to be with us for the next two days you are going to provide the solution for the problem of the people of bungoma because we are your partners we participated with you your excellency in forming this government Jambo ya pili mheshimiwa rais unajua yule mzee ambaye tuliweka kwa wilibaro tukapeleka huko bondo alitumia shortcut akakimbia karudi Nairobi makosa yenye tulifanya tungemwekea simba kwa mlango sasa wakati tungeegea yeye simba kwa mlango hangekuja huku angebaki tu wako kule kule bondo hangekuja kutusumba katika sehemu yetu ya kutusumba mheshimiwa Uh, your excellency jambo lingine your excellency i want you to remember the proverbial elephant ndovu ambaye aliingia kwa nyumba akasema iweke tu pembe yake kidogo baadaye akakoroga yule mwenye alikuwa hapo akafukuza yeye yule ndovu mheshimiwa rais you have ilikuwa ngamia Asante sana kwa kunirekebisha hapo. Kumbe unaelewa hiyo huko kwa sisi labda unaelewa hiyo kabisa. So you have a social contract with the people of Kenya. Na wa Kenya wote walikuelezea shida zao zote. We want to assure you that we will give you maximum support. Focus on the service delivery. Don't get distracted. If kama kuna watu ambao nafaa ukae chini na wao uzungumze na wao ni wa Kenya kwa kuzungumza na wao kwa kuwapatia maendeleo na kwa kutoa zile ahadi ambazo tulikuwa tunawaahidi sisi wengi tumeumia your excellence you know siku kama ya leo ya Jumapili hatuwezi tukasahau kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu because when you coined an idea to save this country there are men and women who connived who came together to block you you from being president of the republic of Kenya lakini Mungu akatusaidia akajaribu kwa baba ya Roma baba Roma akakuwa nyuma yako akajaribu kwa msala wa Mtabadi akaleta earthquake ni ajo tukaunda hii serikali mimi na kuomba ukiendelea kukaa hapa unajua sisi ni marafiki zako unajua mama Recho ni kwetu kutoka kwetu huko nyumbani nimekupatia napigia wewe ugali olete maendeleo mingi huku usipolete maendeleo mingi na ibe rais tutakuja tuchukue mama turudi na yeye huko kwetu jambo yangu ya mwisho nikienda kuketi mheshimiwa rais unajua we say in english that ile kitu ambayo mtu hataki kutumia 
badala ya kuacha hapo iharibike bure unachukua unapelekea yule ambaye anahitaji wale marafiki zetu ambao wamekuwa wakichoma lami ile pesa usitengeneze lami kwao kwa sababu watachoma chukua hiyo pesa kuja unde lami hapa mngoma sisi hatuchomi lami yo excellence mwenyezi Mungu akubariki sana Asante sana sana Bishop Pierre Makofi Bishop your excellency tumeendoza 100 mnakubali maneno ya Bishop <laughs>